guys, so today I thought I would show you a few bits that I bought from Dubai. Uh, I didn't buy as much as I was expecting to, I didn't buy any makeup or anything because it was all super expensive out there for like exactly the same things that I could get from home. So I didn't buy anything like that, I just bought a few bits and bobs, some clothes and stuff, but not as much as I thought I would, which is annoying, but... I got some really nice things that I want to share with you, so let's go! First of all, I'll show you a few touristy bits that I bought. If you read my blog, you will have seen a few of the items that I'm going to show today, but obviously not all of them because I haven't shown them all on my blog yet. So, first of all is a postcard, which you have to buy on holiday. I bought this one, which is the Skyline, and it's just really pretty. I bought a few to send to everyone and I've just dropped it on the floor. I bought a few for everybody, like my family, to send out and I thought I'd buy myself one. So this is the one I picked. It just says Dubai downtown and yeah, it's pretty. Next is this lighter which I just fell in love with. It's the Burj Khalifa on there which was also on the postcard which is like the tallest building in the world so yeah but the gem is such a pretty colour it's like a pinky purple and then I love this like smoky black and white kind of effect and when you pull it up whichever way it is there is a green light which really has no effect and I'm not sure why it's there but it's something a little extra isn't it Next are these adorable little camels that I bought for my nephews and they have magnetic feet like so you can stick them to things and I used to have one of these when I was little. I think it was a monkey but I don't remember. But yeah, I saw them and there was like these or ones with like the big plastic keychain kind of things on and I just thought these are magnetic and camels so these win over the keychain ones. They're just cute, and I thought my nephews would like them. And I also bought this, which is also a camel, because I fell in love with camels while I was there. It's a fridge magnet, and it's just really cute. It's wooden, and I don't know. I, there was like loads and loads of different like fridge magnets and stuff, and I bought, I think it was three fridge magnets and four key rings for everyone. And I just bought different ones, but this was my favourite because it's just cute and it's different. Like the rest were like plastic and a lot of the same kind of thing, but I like that one. Next is probably my favourite thing that I bought while I was there. I went to the Atlantis, which is on the palm, and I bought a snow globe, which looks like that. But when I was little, I used to collect snow globes from everywhere I went, and I just stopped for some reason. So when I saw this, I just thought it was really pretty, and I had to buy it. And it's like really glittery as well. There's like so much glitter in there. But yeah, I really like this. I just keep shaking it and looking at it, because it's just so pretty. Also, while I was there, it really annoyed me. I saw these plastic cups, I bought this one, which is actually broken, like this is meant to be filled up with the gel, and it was the last one there, and I was like, oh I like that one, so I bought it, and it was actually broken, but it, it's just no point in taking things back there, because the people just know. But yeah, these are so cool, they're like hard plastic, with like a hard plastic straw, and the straw doesn't come out, and I just kind of fell in love with it. And it's actually full of water, but, you know. And I thought it was such a cool idea, and it's just so me, and I just really liked it. So, I searched everywhere for one I liked, and like this blue one, which, you know, it's broken, casually. But, yeah, I bought one, and brought it all the way home, and the other day I went shopping with my mum. These are everywhere in England now. I go away for, like, three weeks, and suddenly this becomes a new craze one from Dubai, but no, I could have got one from friggin' Asda down the road. Not happy. So now, on to shoes. I'm going to do shoes before clothes because I went a bit crazy. I didn't buy that many pairs of shoes. I only bought two pairs of shoes, which was very good of me because I kept falling in love with shoes and they actually do my size out there because, like, 
people over there have smaller feet apparently so there was lots of size threes so I kept seeing shoes and be like it's my size I have to get it which you really shouldn't do but because I'm size three and hardly anywhere ever has them in the UK I just felt like I needed to but I didn't which was amazing of me you should all be very proud of me but I bought two pairs of shoes they're both from Topshop and most I think all of the, like the clothes that I bought were from Topshop which is weird because I don't really buy anything from the Topshop over here but it was all really nice so I bought stuff but first of all are these shoes which I don't know if I like so please let me know either in the comments or on Twitter or anywhere if you like these because I'm still really unsure but they were like in the sale so I was like I kind of have to get them I thought like businessy shoes but they're like pointed and snakeskin and stilettos and they are three things that I don't do like I don't own like any stilettos or pointed shoes or like snakeskin type thing so yeah these are not very me but I thought they might work so let me know what you think of these because I still don't know but I own them now so Secondly are these absolute beauties which jingle jangle apparently. Oh and now my cat's looking. Hey Roo, are you going to try and catch my shoe? Ha, <laughs> I rhymed. Second are these pair of beautiful wedges which Dave actually found and was kind of like oh these are kind of nice. And his mum was like, oh yeah, they're quite nice. And I was like, I really like them. And then I didn't buy them. And I went back like a week later and they were still there. So I was like, it's fake. I have to get them. But I just fell in love. They're just amazing. And they're like nude colours and stuff that's going to go with a lot of different things. And I just really like them. They're actually really comfy. They're really high, but they're really comfy. Because they're flat basically because they're wedges so yeah I'm really chuffed with them I'm still not sure about the other ones but oh well I then bought this blazer which is not really a blazer it looks like a blazer but it's really thin and it's not very me but I kind of just really liked it I'm trying to move away from wearing black all the time I need colour in my life so I bought this which is kind of crazy it's, oh, I can't even make it look nice on a camera, but it is nice, believe me. It's kind of like this, this crazy print, and it's just crazy. It's like grey and black, but just with craziness put in. And it's got like a little pocket, and a collar, and it looks really bad here, but it's really nice, honestly. So yeah, there's this. And this final item is my favourite thing I bought while I was there. I am so, so in love with this. But it's so cold here, I can't wear it. I was going to wear it on Saturday night and I just couldn't. It is like this. It's black with butterflies on. With like a really cool cut out back that you can't really see. And it's got like a little split at the bottom, if you can see that. You can see like the under bit. It's got an under bit, but it's cut, which looks really cool. So yeah, that is what I bought, basically. I bought like a few other bits that aren't really relevant, so I didn't show you. <laughs> but yeah, they are my purchases from Dubai. I hope you enjoyed them, and I will see you again soon. Bye! This is the favourite that I've bought. The favourite.